I could take the spiritual liberty and step into the imagination of a slave anticipating freedom. I could not wait until I got my hands on the book. Realizing that being black, he was always uh, in the rear, in behind. They treasured getting an education, even if they only had the Bible. Just the whole notion of uh, how do we start anew, and they realized there were things that they had not been exposed to. The church was so instrumental in helping these freed slaves realize the absolute critical need for education. It was their means of elevation to help get them um, from where they were to where they wanted to be. If I were to go back down the roads of history and I would think about what we had to go through, some of the barriers, I would think of Plessy versus Ferguson, who created the separate but equal doctrine. Now, that was the wording, but the uh, practicality of separate but equal did not uh, take place. We got second-handed school books, we got second-handed uh, musical instruments. You know, we didn't have the resources in our educational system, in our schools that the uh, the white kids had, other kids had, other ethnic groups had. Because first of all, our textbooks were secondhand hand-me-downs from the white schools. Uh, practically all of the equipment that we used really was second-hand. Sometimes the desks had um, derogatory terms about black people engraved in them. If they caught you reading one of the books that dealt with economics, of, they'd ask you where you got the book from. I ain't talking about what I heard, I'm talking about what I had to live with. It gave them a sense of determination that uh, regardless of what uh, they were told or made to feel about themselves, uh, they were just that more determined. We had educators that no matter what the resources were or were not, we got a quality education. Simmons College comes from that, that, that tradition that, you know, a learned people cannot be deceived. So the barriers wasn't so much a barrier as it was incentive. To break those barriers and to become the leaders of our nation uh, and leaders in their community, uh, the, the, the need for a historically black college is so critical. I am so happy that this college is located in the black community. It really ends up being a beacon of hope. Around the country where HBCUs um, exist, they become um, the mecca for employment opportunities, for economic development. We have brought in two million dollars in federal funding to this community over a four-year period. And I can see how Simmons plays such a critical role in exposing to pe people to so many things that you just obviously think they've been exposed to. They have not. But see, here's the deal. Education is the new currency, you know, in the world. In a world, not just in the United States or Louisville. Historically black colleges, because they create a nurturing, safe place for African Americans, are overproducing the number of successful graduates. Students who come to a black institution leave with a better sense of self-expression because they are learning more about who they are. They say, wow, this is a great repository of me. Simmons is not just a school. And wherever education has been in the hearts and in the lives of blacks, the royalty and the kingship of who we really are comes forth in leadership, in stamina, in growth, determination, uh, influence, and, and it uplifts uh, the black community. So education in our history was king, uh, and education is king. Thank you.